A mall shooting in Madison prompted many reactions from people in the area and the state. The shooting was Saturday inside East Town Mall. Now, the way a Republican state lawmaker responded was with a call for more guns in the hands of citizens. NBC 15's Christy Batista is here now with reaction from both sides. Christy. John and Lee, the most vocal Republican on this issue comes from the West Bend area. He argues more guns would make the community safer, while others call that a vigilante approach. These people have no fear. They have no fear of the courts. They have no fear of the prison. Representative Bob Gannon from Slinger has had nothing but strong words since the Madison shooting. He released a statement asking law-abiding citizens to, quote, clean our society of these scumbags. And today, he expanded on that. They're making too much money in the drug trades. There's nothing that's going to stop them, barring somebody taking them out. Gannon says, thankfully, the situation on Saturday diffused quickly, but it could have been worse. What if the person he shot kept his balance and pulled his firearm and started firing back? Now, those shoppers all the way around there, this mall is packed, have no way to defend themselves. You have a totally different situation. Representative Chris Taylor of Madison says Gannon's statement is ridiculous and won't stop shootings like the one at East Town Mall. That's not going to make us safer. That's just going to heighten um, the dangerousness of these situations. It's, it's really not a solution. It just makes the problem and the epidemic of gun violence worse. Ultimately, she believes the answer is to tighten gun safety laws. We are the most dangerous um, industrialized country in the world. You're 20 times more likely to be killed by a gun in America than any other industrialized countries. Guns have not made us safer. They've just made our homicide rate greater. Now, the East Town Mall does not allow guns inside. Saturday's shooting was prompted by a fight between some teenagers. A 19-year-old was shot in the leg. Police say they are still looking for the person responsible for the shooting.